Greetings to you, my dear brothers and sisters. I have another powerful word of encouragement for you. Remember that these words are right on time. These are words of confirmation. That is why it is important that you subscribe to this channel. Turn on all the notifications so that you are not in a place where you miss out on these powerful videos. Remember that you are not watching me by mistake. You have not clicked on this platform by coincidence. This video was recommended to you because you needed to hear these words. Some of you are weeping right now. You are confused. You are stressed. These words are going to help you. These are words that are going to heal you. These are words that are going to help you navigate through this world because this world is a very dark place this world is a very evil place so for you to navigate well you need the word of god the word of god is very important to your lives because you'll be able to avoid haters you'll be able to avoid narcissists some of you the reason as to why you attract so many hatred is because you have opened the door. So it is time to close that door. The reason as to why you attract thieves is because they have seen what is in the inside of you. They have seen that there is treasure in you because of that open door. Listen to me very well. A thief will never steal an empty house. A thief will steal a house that is, has a lot of treasure, that has property. When you see a presence of the thief, just know there is something powerful in the inside of you. They may pretend as though there is nothing in the inside of you. Some of them are think that you are, they try to say that you are a nobody and yet you are a somebody. Brothers and sisters, today's powerful word is don't try to be someone you are not. You are unique. You are different. Be yourself. Don't try to act like people. Don't try to act like your celebrities. Never try. Because you can never be them. God created you in a way that it is only you that can do what God created you to do. So a lot of people have gone into a lot of mistakes. They have gone into a lot of trouble. It's because they have tried to walk a path that is not theirs. They have tried to walk a destiny that was never designed for them. People have tried to uh, initiate them in things that are not actually of God. Don't be forced to, to enter things that are not of God. Groups that will bring you down. Take substances that were not never designed for you. Before you take something, inquire from the Lord. Before you meet someone, inquire from the lord is that person of god i want to read you a scripture that is going to be a blessing to someone who is watching me right now this scripture is from the book of first samuel chapter 17 verse 8 38 to 39 i'll repeat first samuel chapter 17 verse 38 to 39 the bible says then Saul dressed David in his garments and put a bronze helmet on his head and put a coat of mail armor on him. Then David fastened his sword over his armor and tried to walk. But he could not because he was not used to them. And David said to Saul, I cannot go with this because I am not used to them so David took them off they were preparing to go to battle against their adversary Goliath had challenged Israel to bring for them a warrior to bring for him a warrior who would challenge him it was a one-on-one -on -one battle and the children of Israel chose David a very young boy very small boy and yet very anointed very anointed man of God. Then, of course, King Saul had to dress David 
in his garment. That's, that's what the Bible says. In the king's garment. And put a bronze helmet on his head. I, I'm imagining how that helmet, how heavy that helmet was. The Bible says, David fastened his sword over his armor and tried to walk, but he could not. He tried to walk like kings in the past, but he could not walk because that was not his destiny, to walk as King Saul. Maybe King Saul was walking in an unrighteous way. The garments were so heavy. Some of you have tried to walk like your family. Try to take the same career path as your dad, as your mom. But things are failed out. You have even forced things on your children to take up these courses, to take up these subjects, to take up this path, to take up this job. And no wonder they are struggling or you are struggling. Not knowing where that struggle comes from is because what attacked your family is now attacking you. You're trying to act like them. You're trying to act like your celebrities because what has been attacking your celebrities is attacking you. You're trying to, to act like them. So my brothers and sisters, this is a powerful word. David could not walk because that was not his path. The garments were not his garment. Of course, he was destined for greatness. David was destined for greatness. In fact, David was the king, the true king. He was, in fact, he was anointed even before. But he was not ready for the kingship. The current king was Saul, but David was already anointed by God to be the king. But he wasn't ready. So the Bible says he could not because he was not used to them. Listen, he was not used. The reason as to why some of you are struggling is because you are not used to that lifestyle. You have adopted a lifestyle that was not yours. You have taken out drugs. You are taking on substances. You have gone into addictions. That is not your lifestyle. Your lifestyle is a lifestyle that God wants you to do. If you want to know your lifestyle, read the word of God. Because you are not of this world. You belong to God. Though you live in this world, you are not of this world. You are not of this world. This is not your home. God has a home for you. So act like how God wants you to act. The Bible says that David took them off. I love David. He was a very prudent man. He would not just uh, stick on to something that does not work. He was so prudent. If something did not work, he would take it off there and then. Brothers and sisters, take off that lifestyle, that fake lifestyle that you have been living. Not everyone, but some of you, a few people, you have, living, you have been living a life that is not yours. Take it off and live the life of Jesus. And greater things shall you do. Greater things shall you do. Brothers and sisters, I hope this word has blessed you. I hope it has encouraged you. If you want to be a blessing to this ministry, through your giving, you can do so through my PayPal. My PayPal is in the About section. Until next time, Shalom.